let us go and create a sales quotation let me show you from the beginning it is under SAP manual logistics sales and distribution sales quotation click on create so something about these uh, document types you can make use of the existing document types which is readily av available but if you want to create a new document type for sales quotation you can create it as well let's take a look at what this document type can offer us press F1 on this sales quotation field and click on this customizing continue without specifying project click on the button okay now I need to go to basic uh, master data to see here Thing is too much to actually check it here. Define sales document types. Yeah, this is the one I was looking for. Double click on this. So if you understand, if you want to understand the menu path, it is under sales distribution, sales, sales documents, sales document header. Define sales document types. Go in here. and we can get all the sales documents QT is the one that I selected just now double click on it so these are the fields that you can uh, assign for each and every document type not necessarily that we need to go through each and every fields that are available here <coughs> QT is actually a standard uh, sales document type already delivered for quotation mm, if you click on the sales document category you will get a list of uh, sales document category which is already been defined by the system so since this is quotation we have to default it with quotation if the sales order we need to default it with sales order and so forth right and the other thing we need we can as uh, uh, we can uh, I mean uh, the other thing that the sales document type uh, determine is the number range sales document type is the one which will determine the number range for the sales quotation creation so what has been specified is 05 so let us take a look at how the 05 will look like let me show you where to define the number range see this define number ranges for sales documents and just look for 05 05 is over here so the last sales quotation number which is created is 200014 and if I create one more sales quotation, two zero 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 one one five will be created. So this is a number range which we'll be using. You can define your own number range if you want to. Just go here and add an interval, and just enter a number, and enter a number range, and save it. And uh, go back to sales document type and change this number range to the new number range that you have created which is 38 uh, so that's how we can assign a number range and let me see what other information this is item number increment in the sales document uh, grid we can specify how the item number to, to be incremented whether it's 1, 2, 3, 4 or 10, 20 and things like that so if I specify 10 here it will be incrementing by 
10, 20, 30 and so forth. So these are the some of the fields that is available in the sales document type. If you want to create a new one, you can click go ahead by <coughs> clicking the new entries. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make use of the existing one. Let's go back. Go back. Yeah, selected QT. You need to enter your sales organization, distribution channel, and uh, division, and press enter. Okay. Now, what is the customer that is available under this organization? Is this guy here? Choose it and press enter. And the sold to party and ship to party is auto loaded. Now I can enter material, sales material. Let me just go to sales tab. Okay, this is the place where we need to enter the material that we are on. The customer has ordered. Let's go by there's no filter by plant. Let's change in that case. Let me see whether I can choose this. Yeah, I can choose this. So Instead of going by plan, you can go by sales material by description so that I can filter by my sales organization. I got desktop here 1247. I'm going to choose that. My customer is ordering 10 units. Yeah. Okay, let me press enter after entering the order quantity. Let me see what the system does. It auto loads the customer material number because remember we have already linked it to this material in our topic here customer material info records so the system is smart enough to actually go and pick up the customer material number for just for our information this means that customer refers to this uh, same desktop material as 001 in its own system this is just for a reference they're getting in error. No business area can be determined. Let me. Okay, this says that the item has plant NY and assigned to company code Sun for which business area is required. This has caused in incomplete settings in customizing. I know how to turn this off. Let me show that to you now. Just open up a session. Go to SPRO. Go and look for the company code. should be here Sun double click on it yeah see this setting a business area financial statement just turn it off and save it and I think this should turn off that error message let me double check press enter once again okay I think we need to refresh it go back create enter choose our customer press enter once and go to sales tab choose the material we can also enter the material in this item overview it will be the same once you if you enter the items in this tab your sales it will also be loaded in the item overview as well so there's no difference it's just my choice to actually use this sales tab to enter the information press enter see that business area error message has cleared but now we are getting another error condition vprs error in converting exchange rate from to usd what it says what is my order currency
what is my other currency is Go to item overview. Since it's just a uh, green message, we can ignore it for a moment. We're just seeing that there's no valid exchange rate uh, available to convert the uh, sales price to company code currency. Let me just go to item overview again and check the condition, highlight it and go to item condition, PRS cost, USD, because I have not set up um, price for this material yet. So it's showing all zero. Okay, let me try to find a way out to actually assign some um, pri sales prices for this material without going in detail to this uh, pricing uh, condition techniques because I have a separate topic to explain this in detail so for the purpose of creation of sales quotation I'll try to find a way to actually bypass this uh, using a shortcut so that we can complete our sales quotation uh, topic and then understand in detail how to set the prices 